what's up guys and welcome to another video so today i thought it would be just a quick little sit down video i really wanted to touch on one or two things and these are kind of like the most common questions i get in my dms and just on instagram in general when it comes to recovery and i don't have time in my day to necessarily sit and respond to each and every single one of them especially if they're all like the same question so i figured i would make a video kind of sharing my answer in hopes that it helps you and if you dm'd me and i never got back to you then hopefully this answers your question i do just want to quickly say that i'm not a doctor so i have worked with lots of professionals over the years while i was in recovery so i do have some sort of knowledge as to how to answer these questions but i'm not a registered dietitian or a professional so i would say if you are in recovery i highly recommend seeing a doctor or getting in touch with a professional that's certified in eating disorders because they can really help you and guide you on your recovery journey at least they really helped me and i would recommend it to absolutely any and everyone that I meet that's going through recovery. So one of the questions was how to deal with mental hunger when you're physically full. And what I would really have to say to that is I personally remember when I was in recovery, there would definitely be times where I would eat a meal and right after I had a big dinner, I would still feel hungry. Like mentally, I feel like I could go for a whole three course meal, like right then and there. But I would still feel, I knew if I ate that, I would end up feeling really, really sick. Know that you're not alone, that it's a completely normal and valid feeling to have. But I think what's really important is to understand where this is coming from. So when you're in a prolonged period of restriction, your body just kind of turns off all food signals because sadly it doesn't have the energy to give you those signals so it doesn't want to waste energy sending you uh, mental hunger pings or giving you physical hunger cues because it doesn't believe that it's going to get any response it it's kind of lost all hope at this point that you're not going to feed it so sadly that's the case but gladly if you're watching this you're on the road to recovery or you're embarking on the road to recovery so when you do begin eating more and you begin eating more regularly your body's like wait like they're actually feeding me so suddenly you'll get all these hunger signals because whether they're mental or physical like you'll just keep getting them because your body's like oh my gosh now she'll actually listen to me when i have these hunger signals and when i send them to them they'll actually honor it and eat so that's why your body begins sending you those signals. It's also important to understand that at its core, this is a survival response. So your body is in a state of stress and it's in a fight or flight mode. So when your body begins to eat more after not eating a lot and under fueling for a long period of time, your body is trying to survive. So it's going to send you all these signals because it needs the fuel in order to survive. It's not some random thing. Your body's not out to get you. Your body's not saying, Oh, let's give so-and-so these hunger signals or make them think about food because we want her to sabotage herself and we want them to feel horrible about themselves after they eat. Like, that's, that's not how your body works. Your body wants to keep you alive. It wants you to thrive. And it's important to remember that. As for honoring the mental hunger when you're feeling physically full, I found that what helped me a lot was separating myself from the environment. So let's say I just finished dinner and I was feeling really, really full, but I have this intense craving for dessert. Like I want it right now. I want it right away. But I feel like if I eat anything, I'll be, I'll be sick. I'll remove myself from the situation. So maybe I'll go upstairs. I'll do some stretching. Maybe I'll go up in my room and I'll read or I'll try to read. I'll watch a movie. I'll do something that isn't affiliated with the kitchen or the food environment and I'll wait like maybe 15, 20, maybe even 30 minutes and after I've waited, if I feel like I'm still hungry, I'll go downstairs and I'll eat something else. By that time, I'll have already given my body a little bit of time to digest the food that I had just eaten so I won't be feeling, hopefully, I wouldn't be feeling as sick if I were to eat something else. What also helps me is doing some deep breathing exercises. Typical deep breathing is kind of like you breathe in for four, so like you'll inhale for four seconds, 
hold for two seconds and then exhale for six seconds and doing that a couple times will help you kick into the parasympathetic nervous system which is where your body can relax and it's no longer in that fight or flight mode i've noticed in my own recovery journey that whenever i had intense mental hunger cravings it was stemming from me being very anxious so when i do engage in those deep breathing exercises sometimes it helps to minimize the intensity of my mental hunger or sometimes just eradicate it entirely because my sometimes my mental hunger would just stem from me being anxious and eating something to quench my anxiety i would say what also helped me in this case was eating more calorie dense snacks if i had like maybe some trail mix with an apple or peanut butter and banana toast or yogurt with some granola having a balance of like some carbs proteins and fats really helped me to feel more satiated with my snacks and kind of eradicate or get rid of the extreme mental hunger that i was experiencing in addition to having balanced meals throughout the day so having a good amount of proteins fats and carbs at each and every meal is also very very important not only in making sure you're getting the right nutrients but also in creating satiety throughout your day so you're not like left at the end of the day feeling like you need to eat like a little pantry because you didn't really eat balanced throughout the day if that makes any sense so some of my favorite calorie dense snacks would have to be dates, peanut butter, and chocolate. That's like my OG. It's perfect for everything. Do like crackers and peanut butter or a slice of peanut butter and banana toast. Yogurt parfait, that's always a good option. Granola bar, trail mix, or just a handful of nuts or seeds. A protein shake if you feel like it. These are also a really good way to get a lot of calories in and not be so volume heavy so yeah or if this like camera angle is different than how it was before my camera was acting really weird so i'm just gonna like kind of hop back into it regardless i want you to know that if you're still feeling comfortable i want to encourage you to honor that mental hunger because it's obviously there for a reason and although it might be uncomfortable just know that it's part of the recovery process you're not going to go through every single day bloat free that's just not possible in recovery and it's not possible in life bloating is normal feeling that discomfort is 100 percent normal this feeling will pass and it's not going to last forever another quick thing i did want to talk about is the difference between binge eating and extreme hunger and i made a whole other video on this like last year or some yeah it was almost a year ago wow so i'll leave a link to it i'll have like a little thing up here or and I'll also leave a link to it in the description box but basically what is so important when it comes to differentiating between extreme hunger and binge eating is understand that if you're in recovery there is no such thing as binging no such thing it, it doesn't exist like you can continue to try and make up reasons as to how you could possibly be binge eating but honey it doesn't exist it's, you're not binge eating trust me the difference between extreme hunger and binge eating is that with binge eating there is an emotional component tied to the behavior extreme hunger is simply your brain's telling you you, you need food and you're honoring that yes it's a lot and yes it's scary but it's a normal response to that prolonged period of restriction that i was talking about earlier so whereas with binge eating it's more like the root cause behind the person's behaviors to binge in the first place stems from a feeling of unworthiness and stems from other emotional things going on that doesn't necessarily correlate to the fact that they were receiving mental hunger signals in their brain telling them to eat and they started and they couldn't stop so then they binged like that's not how it works so just really keep that in mind and understand that this process, yes, it's hard, it's uncomfortable, it's difficult. Sometimes you feel like you'll never get through it, but you are going to get through it. And it's 100% normal, and you're not alone. So I think that's something really important to remember, is that you're doing this, and I'm so proud of you, the world is proud of you, and you're going to get through this. Because yes, it's hard, but you are 
tougher, you're stronger, and you deserve to live a life filled with love and abundance and food freedom and not feeling like food dictates your life because food is meant to be enjoyed, it's meant to be nourishing for your mind and body and soul and it's not meant to deteriorate you or make you feel unworthy or not enough because you're enough always, you're enough just as you are in this moment so I didn't mean to like get a little like too deep there but those were just two kind of questions that I get a lot of that I really wanted to quickly address in this video I don't think this video will be that long but I hope it helped you if you are someone who asked me this question or was ever thinking of asking this question but just know that I'm sending a lot of love and good vibes and healing vibes your way and that I love you, I support you and I will see you soon so Bye.